Apple Music is here. I'm Bridget Carey. Siri, play the theme from CNET Update. Apple Music went live Tuesday morning with the release of the iOS 8.4 software update, adding the new streaming service inside of the main music app on the iPhone and iPad. You'll also find it in the newest version of iTunes on the desktop. Android is getting it too. Yes, Android, but it's not until the fall. Also inside the music app, you'll find the Beats One radio station. It's a live 24-7 broadcast with real DJs and advertisements, and you can listen to all of that for free with an Apple ID. But as for the Apple Music On Demand part, that costs $10 a month, and you get the first three months free. You'll need to manually cancel before three months, or it'll start charging the credit card you have on file with Apple. To disable auto renewal, click the icon to manage your account, then click View Apple ID, select Subscriptions, then toggle off. That way, you won't be charged when the trial ends. Apple Music tries to learn what you like and offer custom playlists that match your taste. But first, you have to tell it what you like and hate based on these broad category bubbles and you keep diving in deeper, telling it what artists you like. Now, one of the things that makes Apple Music unique is Siri. You can ask Siri to pull up the most popular song on a certain day, the song from a movie, or the most popular song from an artist. Not all artists have allowed their songs to be played on Apple Music. You may find yourself spending time trying to stump Siri, and she will not always get it right. Play the song from Breaking Bad. Nope. That's from the Twilight movie Breaking Dawn. Walter White would not approve. In other news, the car hailing service Uber is working on building its own mapping service. Uber now owns some of Microsoft's Bing Maps technology along with the data center and reports say the deal also included about 100 former Microsoft employees. Uber is trying to move away from its dependence on Google Maps by creating its own map system. And although Google was an early investor in Uber, it seems Google and Uber are becoming competition. Not only are both companies getting in the instant delivery service, but both are making their own self-driving cars. And speaking of Google, it just updated its Hangouts messaging app for iPhone and iPad. Yes, it comes to Apple before Android. The new layout makes it easier to send things beyond just text, and that includes stickers. You can also send multiple photos at once. Google says the Android version is coming soon. That's it for this Tech News Roundup. There's always more at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.